Welcome back to the world's scariest TikToks in the world? Question mark. I said in the world twice. Uh <laughs> I'm back and I clearly forgot how to make videos. I know I've been away for a long time. Did y'all miss me? By the way, a lot has happened since I've been gone. I went back to Australia to make videos with the boys and I cannot wait for you guys to see my return to the asylum. I did it. I went back and I finished my night and I brought Sam and Colby with me. Yes, I I did a collab with Sam and Colby. Me and the boys did. And I just, I can't wait for you guys to see these videos we made because they were genuinely terrifying. I also took a vacation in Japan. I went skiing with Josh and Molly and Gabby. Here's a clip. Mexicans don't do this shit! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Woo, Gabby in the front! She's too fast, I can't keep up! And that was a much needed vacation, and I'm back, I'm refreshed. I'm ready to make videos again. And what's that? You're disoriented? You don't know what you're looking at? You don't recognize this place? Wake up. You're not real. They found you. Welcome to the office 2.0! It's the same space I was in before, I just moved stuff around and got it renovated. So it's a little more cozy. I'll give you a quick tour at the end of the video. Oh, but Eddie, we're here to watch scary TikToks. Where's the scary stuff? TikTok is getting banned, which means if it does, this might be the last scary TikToks video I'm able to make, which could be a really bad thing or a very good thing, depending on the Redditor you ask. <laughs> How are we at 215,000 members? Okay, first TikTok. The following footage may be disturbing to some viewers. It was in my bed with my wife. Who, what was? El Sancho? The mailman? If I get jump scared for if this is one of them jump scares, dog, I'm ending the video. On the first one, I will, this video will be two minutes long. Orale, wait, no mames! Okay. Well, at least this lady's got common sense. She grabbed the baby. Look at the pillow. Look at the pillow. Ollie, zoom in. Enhance image. Play the pillow in slow motion. What is that? It's like something lays on the pillow. You see, you see like the first time it moves, it gets all pixelated and shit. Like nothing else gets pixelated when it moves. When she moves, it doesn't get pixelated. But when the pillow moves, it's pixelated as shit. And it's really blurry. But nonetheless, if I was in that situation, I'd be spooked. If her husband is pranking her, that's fucked up. But funny. <laughs> I'd have left the kid, bro. <laughs> Self-preservation, you know what I'm saying? Pobrecito el niño, güey, lo dejaron en la cuna. It's a Nuke's top five clip. A little creeped out by the makeshift signs and barrier. They decide to just play it safe and walk away, taking an official public path back through the woods. But it turns out that they are not safe at all because things are about to take a terrifying turn. It always we does. We are going to and this seems to be a wandering path. Yeah, just a path to say, and so here can we wander. Spook me, bro. Where is he? Make me shit my pants. Ah, uh, we got screaming. What the? What the? There's no auto or so, eh? Someone's literally being tortured here. How do you know that? Someone could have actually just like oh. been constipated and took a shit for the first time Hello. in three days. Who's that? Hello. What the f? What the f? What the f was that? Hey. It passed over. It's like something right out of a horror movie. As Sias and his friends hear loud screaming coming from somewhere in the dark woods. Then a tall woman dressed in a white robe and wearing white face paint comes lumbering out of the forest. Oh, hell no. Why is she galloping? She at the group and they make a run for it. I want to see more. God damn it. If you're going to send me a Nuke's Top 5 clip, send the whole thing. Don't just send me, like, a cliffhanger version. But let's take a look at what this is, man. Because I've put myself in some very stupid situations with these horror videos we do. Like the hospital video. That was, to me, the most... 
terrifying video I've ever filmed. And that's not because of anything to do with paranormal. It's because I was scared of other humans being there. Like abandoned places are particularly scary because you don't know who could be lurking in the dark and if they want to hurt you. And I'm way more scared of humans than I am of demons. So when another human starts to charge at you in the middle of the woods at night, you run the other way. This guy did what I would have done in this situation by running as fast as he could. I could tell he's Mexican. <laughs> Where is she? I want to play this in slow motion. What was she holding? Look, the way she runs, first of all, is really scary because it looks like she's galloping. I thought there was that was someone coming on a horse. Yeah, she is holding a hatchet. This reminds me of when we filmed the sick music video and they put me in the woods for my scene. I didn't know that Dose was dressed up as a monster and that he was waiting for me. And I was out there alone with the camera and the fear that I felt when I saw him standing next to me and I started running my ass off, no one would have caught me. I'll tell you right now. You wanna know how I know this is fake? Because when you're running away from something like that, and I've been running in the woods away from something I thought was danger, it's like your senses can see the best path to be able to run as fast as possible, right? For example, this guy's on a clear exit. Like he's on a, on a road where tire tracks are at. Why did he feel the need to cut to the right and go into the bushes to slow himself down? Like, like, you're only going to fall. Your, ch your, your chances of falling have now increased, okay? This is Mexican survival tips number 23. Don't forget that shit. The other reason I won't know this is probably fake is because you could have gotten your sister to dress up as some lady in white with a hatchet and come out and scream at the woods. But if it's real, that shit's scary. I think my cat talks. Okay, first of all, why didn't anyone tell me no. that if you have sh yeah remembering i'm home alone ah no mommy's way <laughs> my bad so i forgot trying to pretend i didn't think I'm about calling. it i'm home alone Excuse and me. i thought i thought someone called me and i'm If you really are home alone, that is scary. Maybe it was my cat, and she sounds like a human sometimes. That she looks so unsettled, bro. That was you, right? right? What the f are you gonna say? Yeah, meow. That's right. It was me all along, Melody. I called your name. No, bro. It wasn't the cat. Cats don't talk. The thought of animals talking freaks me the f*** out. I've seen those TikToks of people like training their dog to say shit by pressing buttons and they say the scariest things. Animals are not supposed to become self-aware. But listen, if you listen closely before she says yeah, it sounds like someone actually does call out to her and say Melody. Tell me that Mel. if you have sh yeah. Or Mel. Like maybe that's her nickname. Tell me Mel. that if you have sh yeah. Ay, oh, wait. Okay, that gave me chicken skin for some reason because her reaction is pretty genuine. You can actually tell she's realizing she's home alone when she hears that shit. That could have been the cat just like making some random ass cat noises that sounded like her name. This happens to me such regularity that it doesn't really bother me anymore. I've even named my regulars within my house. One is Creaky because he closes doors. Another is the Scampers because they run around the upstairs apartment when my neighbors are gone. And the last is that guy I call Mark, because that's what he keeps saying. I've got Peeping Tom. Often entering rooms, I'll see him peeping from behind the door before he disappears. Y'all, <laughs> this is scarier than the video itself. I used to have one like that called Weber, because he looked kind of like a spider. He would also throw the pillows off the couch and ring the doorbell. He left a few years ago, though, and I haven't seen him since. Ah, uh, uh, well, thanks for that. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. Reading these scared me way more than the video itself. I would love to read more scary stories. Post in the comments, like this video. Okay, next TikTok. Videos that can never be explained, part two. Videos that can never be explained. We're going to see about that. We're going to see about that. Because, you know, the boys got your narrator. You can start calling me your explanator. 
<laughs> okay, first clip. Oh. Holy fucking shit, God. I can explain that. Video effects. <laughs> Ali, put some cool video effects behind me. Show the audience you could do something like this with video effects. Video effects. You didn't do anything, did you, Ali? You mother <laughs> Get off my screen. All right, next clip. Look up. The show. Look. The water show. Up. Oh, no way. What is that? What the oh, is that? No, what is that? Oh, no. Yeah, literally, video effects. This one's cool, though. This could be... I don't know. Is this like a comet or something? That looks kind of cool. I don't know if this is real or not. It could just be a, a, a comment, but that's like, that looks way too fake. Uh, good edits though. <laughs> new fear unlocked. Daddy, I have a new friend. I have a new friend. Dog, uh, <laughs> you serious? What is that? <laughs> I love going to the comments because these fools are so over it. Flatwoods monster just trying to say hi, bro. Wave back. Don't be rude. It kind of looks like the Flatwoods monster. What's the Flatwoods monster? There's an Apple TV show for it. In 1952, the Flatwoods monster terrified six kids, a mom, a dog, and the nation. The Flatwoods monster has not hissed at boys in the little village of Flatwoods, West Virginia since September 12, 1952. Yeah, they probably threw rocks at it. People grin about it now and take monster souvenir money from hundreds of monster tourists every week. But it scared people plenty back then, including the eyewitnesses, six boys aged 10 to 17, a dog and a mom. One of the boys peed his pants, said John Gibson, a high school freshman at the time who knew them all. Their dog, Ricky, ran with the tail between his legs. The encounter made the local and national news, scaring a wider swath of people. Then it prompted a U.S. Air Force UFO inquiry, part of a project called Project Blue Book that dispatched a handful of investigators around the country to look into such claims. I wonder if they just saw an alien. You know? I personally find stories like this way creepier than actual video of anything. You know what I mean? I, th I think it's because my imagination goes places. Which is why I get terrified when I go to these haunted locations to go make videos. Because the attendants usually tell the craziest stories about apparitions and things. And when I'm walking the halls of places, I, all, I, all I'm thinking about is just the, the stories I was told earlier that night. And it freaks me the f*** out. Anyway, that's not the Flatwoods monster. That's just some bitch that dressed up as the Flatwoods monster to scare this kid. Next Next TikTok! A spider in the final stages of a fungal infection. What? Ooh! Ooh! Can't wait to tell my therapist about <laughs> spider. Ugh! We tried to sage the house and this happened. Ooh! A ver qué pasó, wey! By the way, when we finished filming for one of the Sam and Colby videos, they did the saging thing they do at the end of each of their videos, and they gave me holy water, and they said, put this behind your neck, and if it burns, it means you have an attachment. And none of the other boys said anything. They didn't feel anything, but when I put this holy water on the back of my neck, it <laughs> burned. Like, like, if I had just put rubbing alcohol on the back of my neck, like, that's how it felt. So, I hope I cleansed whatever the f*** it was that was trying to attach itself to me, because that was scary. I couldn't sleep that night. Again, my imagination running wild. Okay, let's watch this saging video. What happens? My man with the ponytail and the fubu shorts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so she's getting all the corners and shit and... Am I the only one that doesn't like the way burning sage smells? I could be possessed or some shit. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, baby, baby, baby. Oh, shit. What the baby? Oh, 
The Cross 2, no mames, güey. No mames. La, la pinche cruz se volteó. Like what? Like, <laughs> yo. Ay, spooky. <laughs> Look at the light. The lights flicker and then the cross moves. Muchachos, it's all in the reactions. Okay. If this was happening in my house, me as the owner of the house, before I run away, I want to go make sure what it is first. I want to know who the f is flickering the lights. Number one. That's the first thing that gives this away. <laughs> Number two, the reaction. <laughs> what the f baby? <laughs> what the f What the f Baby, go, 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 go. Like, bro, this ain't no 1980s Sylvester Stallone movie. <laughs> no one says that. I can smell bad acting from a mile away. Sorry, muchachos. I'm so scared I got chicken skin. What is this? No, Kyo, please don't mess with your father's tools, okay? It's dangerous. What it's a Pinocchio animation. Um, Why are you holding that mallet? Uh, I don't know. Okay, put it down. He's lying. Pinocchio, put it down. You gonna hurt me with that? Uh, what? Are you going to hurt me with that, Pinocchio? No. Okay. He's gonna you hurt you go with school? that. We don't have to go to school, okay? What do you want to do tomorrow? You want to be an actor tomorrow, Pinocchio? Tomorrow I'm gonna take you to be an actor, okay? I think you're gonna be famous. I think you're gonna do very well. Pinocchio, put it down. Put it down. One. Two. Two and a half. Three. <laughs> he had no chance, bro. Okay, that no, that's bullshit because every time I try to kill a cricket or a grasshopper and step on it, it always jumps before I can step on it. They're so quick. So, <laughs> but no, nah, that was actually good. I love creative stuff like that. That's cool. Underwater earthquake caught on camera. Are they all gonna shake? Are the fishes going to evacuate? Orale, wey, no mames! That's freaky. That's freaky because it almost seemed like the water started to get sucked into whatever plate moved. If I'm even saying that right, like, I, I would imagine that, like, the water just gets sucked. And there's nothing you can do. It even broke the coral. Yeah, oceans are terrifying, bro. <laughs> A game trailer? Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear it. I way. But so they're camping? There's uh, there's something basing around my tent. Hell no. It's a skinwalker. Puta madre, wey. Oh. Oh. That was just a dead bite. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be some new horror game I need to be playing. <laughs> it's just a new Dead by Daylight monster. <laughs> Mexican survival tip number 27. When you're stuck inside a tent and the bitch starts unzipping it from the outside, don't wait until they fully open it. Start drop kicking from the inside of the tent and catch them off guard. Unless it starts talking like that, then, then you're, you're fucked. This has been Mexican survival tips number 27. What is this? First one down the slide wins. <laughs> what is this? Is the water cold? Water. Whoa. Hey, let's get some tea. Sure. Man, you can really get lost in here. Oh. That's for sure. Who's that? That's Chauncey. Have a seat. My friend and I love this kind. Stop. I love this Imaginary shit. Imaginary friend? Not quite. Movie's over. What movie? Imaginary. In theaters. March 8th. Wait, that's an actual... 
Was that just a movie trailer? Oh, it is for a movie. Thank you, Lionsgate, for sponsoring me to promote. Ah, that was very creative. I really like that, actually. Good job! <laughs> I hate this kind of shit, bro, because they're just weird. It's just like weird shit staring back at you. Ah. Hey. Do you live here? You trying to use the laundry room or? Why the f do you have a community laundry room in the basement? Hell nah. Look, man. What do you want? You want my wallet, man? What? No, my miss way. Creepy. Creepy. Okay, so someone told me that this place was haunted and that Teslas can detect ghosts, so I wanted to try it out. I always wanted to take my Tesla Wait, to a graveyard this. just to see this. Alright, so there's no one here. This place is abandoned, right? But look what shows up on my screen. You see someone walking. What? There's two. Look, and there's no one here. What is that? Hijo de tu puta madre, güey. Hijo de tu puta... That's for scaring me. All right, what is this? Yep. Yep. Good call. Good call. You get back in your vehicle and you wait it out. That could be a pack of wolves. Wolves. Wo wolves. That sounded like it was close too, though. That's terrifying. Genuinely terrifying. This man will never film TikToks again. This man will never film TikTok again. Why? In the United States, a guy was filming a TikTok all by himself at home. But when he watched his video before posting, he discovered something that wasn't supposed to be there. This is a must watch. So keep your eyes glued to the screen until the end. You won't believe what happens I next. I can't. I can't As look. As he's recording his TikTok, He's completely I'm alone, print. I'm or so he thinks. But here's the twist, it folks. During the playback, something chilling appears in the background, something that defies explanation. This isn't your typical ghost story. It's real, and it's spine Shut the f*** up, bro. That's a cat. That is clearly a cat that just peeked from the top of the stairs. That's a f***ing cat. I've seen this before because I have cats. <laughs> This is just the cat. But I'm glad he's never making TikToks again. <laughs> you know, maybe TikTok does need to be banned. I don't know what's cringier. The person who decided to milk the shit out of this clip and make it seem like it was supposed to be something scary for attention or watching this dude <laughs> attempt to do whatever it is he's doing. <laughs> Morning after night sleep paralysis. I hate this. I hate this because I've been in this situation before. Nope. Ah, nope, nope, nope. That's exactly what my paralysis, sleep paralysis demon is like. I've said this before, I'm re- I'm very used to sleep paralysis now. But sometimes I would actually wake up thinking that it was the morning after. And I thought I was safe. And then there were things still happening. And then I wasn't. And it fucking sucks. Sleep paralysis, kind of a scary thing. But that's it for today's world's scariest TikToks in the world before TikTok gets banned, question mark. Thanks for waiting for me. I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long, but I needed this. I'm back. Let me know down in the comments what stuff I've missed that you want to see me play or cover. But that's it for me today. If you want to stay for the tour, thanks. <laughs> I forget how to do it. Outro. <laughs>
If you want, I'm gonna do an office tour for the to, yeah. I, I'll do it on my phone. I forgot how to be a YouTuber, bro. This is why I can't stay away for too long. All right, I'm recording on this now. Okay, this is the new office space, muchachos. Office tour, first one I've ever done. Never done one of these before. I don't know what to talk about and shit, but here we go. Okay, so desk, it's a mess. <laughs> I haven't decorated the office yet. We, I just got it remodeled. I've just put the furniture in here for now and uh, I'm gonna decorate it later. So I probably should have done this later on, but this is it. That used to be the closet right there and I took it out and uh, made it into a desk space. I've got a proper spot for me to put my consoles in uh, down there. And then up at the top, I think I'm gonna put like a boy's neon sign something like that it's gonna look really cool once it's fully finished uh the top the roof ceiling <laughs> now has foam and track lights that are good for hair lights um and then just illuminating different parts of the room just so it looks good on the background and stuff uh there's another track light over there that's gonna illuminate that wall it's gonna have uh, a tokyo city nightscape wallpaper it's gonna look really badass once it's done uh, new hangout spot. Those are plushy. This, these three new plushies are the ones I won in Japan. I won these back to back in an arcade night. Uh, five plushies total. The other ones are outside. That's the new background. I'm gonna put some more stuff up there. Some of these you guys are already used to. These plushies and stuff. What else do I have back here? I'll do a full tour once I have uh, once I have it all decorated. But these are my film cameras. This one's from 1953, and I've been taking pictures with this and. I've fallen in love with the process of uh, taking pictures with film. It's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, this is not decorated yet, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. For now, I just put some books here, favorite manga, anime, Vinland Saga, the plushies, the, the, the brush plushies. This is uh, just completely empty right now. <laughs> it's gonna be where I'm gonna store all my shit. Uh, but that's the new office, new carpet, new table. This already caused the first office-related injury. Ollie, play the clip. Ow! 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 There's a new table in my room and I forgot. Motherfucker! Oh, that my shin up yep that took out some skin like a little chunk and shit it hurts that's gonna leave a mark okay uh yeah that's the new office tour for oh look check out this cat table this cat table's badass look at the little ah. trying to climb up on there oh wait that ching going okay uh much needed couch for when the boys come we can hang out make music in here not have to sit on the floor um that's it i'll do a more in-depth office tour <laughs> an office tour what the f man <laughs> i didn't think i'd be coming back to do this on the first video anyway thanks for watching uh if you have any recommendations for games i have forgotten how to do an outro so that's it thank you i love you see you later bye